Good evening, Edna Roberts. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, Denise? I'm great. Thank you so much for joining us this week. It's been so much fun. And uh, I'm, yeah, dying to, and I know loads of people are dying to listen to our uh, interview with you um, because you have so many fans. <laughs> Tell, I know you, you're based in Dublin, uh, but tell us how you started to become an artist. How did it all begin? Um, well, I went to college as a very mature student. I was listening to actually, I think, I think it was Gary Devons saying mm -hmm. he was a mature student at 23. And I thought, oh my <laughs> God, I was a mature student. Um, I went to college in my late 30s. Okay. And, um, it was, first of all, I went to I did a BTEC in Bray in ceramics, and um, Bray is a, it's a PLC college, and it was a lovely mm -hmm. college. I didn't intend to go on and do a degree, fine art degree, but I kind of, I enjoyed it so much, and just the experience of being in college and learning so much. Mm. Um, so did, you didn't have a painting background before the age of 30? Not at all, no. Wow, and none of your family were artists or? Um, my mum would have been very creative. Actually, both my parents, when I think about it, the little things that they did were quite creative, you know. Um, my dad was into kind of woodwork and things, but um, it wouldn't have been his job. And my mum would have always made things. Um, mm. But no, I enjoyed art in school. Like I did, uh, my leaving search, one of my honours was in honours art was which I was really happy about, but um, then I had my children very young, like I was pregnant with my child, with my eldest son, um, probably age 18, which was very young back in the 80s. I was wondering when you came in for your solo show and you had your grandkids, I thought, God, she's very yeah. young. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and I think- I got out of the way first. And then you decided to follow your art career. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think part of it was um, my sister at the time, her partner was an artist. And he worked in Emerald City. Um, it was an animation studios in Dunleary. Mm -hmm. And really good. Mm -hmm. And he was like, we were, we were good friends, myself and Frank. And he was really encouraging, you know, kind of in my 20s and things. Yeah. Um, and he was able to do everything. He'd just be, I was just amazed at things that he'd do. Um, and, but I was always a maker. You know, I made things. And I, I was a closet artist, I suppose. <laughs> I loved myself, you know. And you studied ceramics, wasn't that? That's how it began. Yeah, because I started to, um, one of my closet things was, I started to do mosaics. And I wanted to kind of, um, I think I wanted to do my own glazes on things. Mm -hmm. um, and so I went to, there was a course out in Bray. Um, it was a full-time course. It was a BTEC B -tech course. And uh, there was a tutor there called Paul Martin, who was brilliant. And he worked in NCID and he was just, he was an amazing potter and ceramicist, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And yeah, that's where I kind of, I started kind of making little pots. And then, in a way, I kind of moved into painting them when I was painting. Yeah. So these just, are like your, 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 the vessels that you have. On your yeah, yeah. They did kind of, they had a ceramic um, model, most of them, didn't they, before? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think with paintings, I kind of strive for a feel of kind of... Texture. You know, yeah, and I want the weave of the canvas to kind of disappear and kind of yeah. more kind of ceramic feel, you know? But yeah, and you so you have a very distinctive style. Your palette is a uh, very distinctive, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, and it's quite what people always comment in the gallery is your work is really calming. Um, but yeah, you. I mean, we started what it was probably about three years, four years ago, and yeah. to all the international art fairs, and you would always sell really well. Your work could, would sell anywhere. Um, and what mm. people what we find is people collect your work. There's never one piece they have to have more <laughs> well, that's great i'm so delighted with that you know I'm actually, um 
I, re I remember actually somebody saying you're very far on ball. <laughs> like, <laughs> I probably am a bit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, cool. it kind of goes to that kind of quiet, calm feel. Yeah, yeah. not face of the work, you know. Yeah, and I think I think sometimes as a as a I remember a tutor in DIT saying to me, um, she was saying, "You're Irish." She said. You've a calm sky. You've kind of that kind of, yeah. you know, yeah. kind of muted landscape. Mm -hmm. you know? And um, yeah. you know, kind of why would you? Because I was, I was thinking, God, I don't go for the hot colours, you know. Mm -hmm. That's just your way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And do, uh, how have you found lockdown? I mean, has it affected your your work or have um, you more I've, or less? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at first it did. It did a lot. Um, I well, as you know, like we were quite. You were very busy with the gallery, and I felt you know I was really busy last year, mm -hmm. and, uh, getting ready for New York and things. And then all the paintings going off, and they're stuck in New York kind of for yeah. a few months or whatever. And it was but, deadline after deadline, really, for the yeah. since enjoying those. It's, uh, and you know, people don't realize, but for each art fair, we need about. 15 pieces and that's quite a lot to produce yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah you it's it kind of, i well personally find it's quite nice now just to sit to back relax and relax on it yeah, yeah. i really yeah. look at the work and study it and yeah so yeah so i didn't paint for probably at least 10 weeks and i was looking at when you looked at instagram everybody was painting you know mm -hmm. everybody was painting People um, suck it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm the only one not painting, you know. Um, and actually, I remember looking at when Trudy Good said that as well. Mm -hmm. Everything right. to do painting, and she felt mm -hmm. that was wrong. So it was actually reassuring to me, kind of, to hear that. It's a good few artists but, that could be paint the, yeah. first, the first couple of months because yeah. I think med men, kind of just dealing with it mentally, aren't you? So are you back yeah. into it now? Yeah, I am actually. Yeah, and it was actually somebody who who uh, had bought a painting in the gallery in your gallery, and she sent me a little photograph of oh. it. And it was a painting, and it had uh, beside it she had a jug with tulips, and I was to reply back. She said, "I love your painting, and I love it. I get every morning. I think this is beautiful." Oh, yeah, and that kind of gave me a push back into it because oh. I remember saying to her. That I hadn't been painting, and mm. she replied back, uh, "Get back into painting." That's what I did. <laughs> Start painting, you know. So um, I thought, yeah, you know, kind of it is. It was time. It, it was nice having a break. Yeah, it's yeah. good. To to it. And how do you work? Do you set up a still life? Are these no. all from memory? No, really. Do you sketch it out first? Oh God, I'm very bad at sketching. I think I'm more a three D. Um, well, it's funny actually. We we had a chat with Gadge and Roberts, and he he does three D sculptures instead as well, which I yeah. find really interesting because I didn't I didn't I've never seen that before with any of other our other artists. So yeah, yeah. so you did that as well. I I am actually more kind of three D, and because mm. actually they're the first the first um, exhibitions I was in were in with three D with sculpture. You know, so um, in the Botanic Gardens a few years ago, and it was Sculpture in Context. I think it's on at the moment online. Yeah, and, that's um, right. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of used to kind of, I'd not that I'd make pots and I'd make things, I'd collect things, but I'd put them together. But I'd never actually sit down and do exactly what is in the composition, you know. Right. It's very much, um, it's added to. By memory. Um, yeah, it's taken away from it. It's kind of, you know, it's more of a feel of it, you know, for me, really. So do you get just stuck into one piece of film or would you have a few pieces on the go? I'd always have a few pieces on the go, yeah. yeah. There'd be around maybe four pieces or five pieces. Yeah. And, and um, when, I'm, when I'm on a roll, I'm quick, you know, kind of they yeah. roll. I kind of know what I'm going to do tomorrow, leave yeah. things dry. Um, I did mix the color that I love, and I think right that's for that one as well. You know, to link them in and things, because I spend a lot of time mixing colors, and uh, 
quite interested in just mixing my my palette, you know. So are you would you still go back to ceramics or do you still do a little bit of it for paintings? I would love to go back to ceramics. Like I have a wheel in the shed at the back. Oh, oh wow. Um, well, it's not I've no like I've and I've a kiln, a broken kiln, you know, and I'm always thinking <laughs> Next, you know, um, but I actually think I will go back to it at some stage. Yeah, it's kind of it's on my long fingers, you know, the long finger kind of as usual. You It'd know? be lovely, actually, It'd lovely to have an exhibition with your ceramics and the paintings. Yeah, wouldn't it? I love that. Yeah. yeah, sorry, we'll, we'll we'll get you there. And, yeah. and I love the I love the. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you the date of the show. Yeah. <laughs> I love the piece behind you. How did you find? Well, are you you happy with your new collection? Um, yeah, it, I didn't stray too much off the old. You know, I haven't actually changed that much. You know, kind of in lockdown, my but uh, maybe I've taken my time more with pieces. Yeah, yeah. I I've um, I've maybe added more more flowers over the last couple of years. I have added flowers, and you know, kind of. I yeah. sometimes think as if I'm putting too many in these days. Yeah. No, I want to pair it back <laughs> a little bit sometimes. But, you uh, have a lot of, like, do you use stencils in your work? I so use patterns. I use, I use, uh, I have a few little things. They'd be kind of like pieces of material. Yeah. I, them, I take my, it takes a bit of practice and I don't always get it right. So I have to go back over, back over. And I yeah. press lots of things and pull, you know, kind of press into the wet paint and pull it, let it dry, and then work on it, you know. Mm. So, they're not quite stencils, they're kind of pieces that I'd have that would, uh, they'd be bits of, like I'm a collector, I'm a magpie kind of in a way. <laughs> you know, like things that, once it has a raised surface on it, I like it, you know. <laughs> And even your signature, I love the way you have your your signature as well. Did you always do that? No, um, that's, um, I kind of, I remember a few people saying to me, my work's kind of, Jap you know, kind of, there's a Japanese kind of, and the way they, sometimes the signature in gold leaf at the end, in a little box, there's very, I've always tried to kind of, do a beautiful signature, Eeyore. Yeah. And I didn't want to do it, so I thought, right. <laughs> go, does it. It makes it nicer, Eeyore. It works. it works. I remember it before lockdown, we were talking about you were going to try and experiment uh, to do some landscapes. Did you yeah. try any of that over the last few weeks? Or is I it still have, something you want to do? I have a couple, and um, maybe, well, I have a couple of shows and they'd be very small pieces on paper, stretch paper, because that's when I started painting as well. That was the first thing I painted on, I painted on paper. I stretched watercolor paper. So I spent a bit of lockdown stretching paper out of that garden in the nice weather. <laughs> yeah. So. I think you're frozen on me. Are you are you there? Oh god. I'm frozen. Sorry, I, it went a little bit frozen there. Yeah. <laughs> the beauty of these videos. <laughs> oh, Edna, what about size? Because when we first met you, you always had little tiny pieces, and then we've gradually got bigger and bigger. Are, will you go bigger than the 90 and 110 centimeters? Um, yeah, if I had a big car, I would. <laughs> <laughs> It's really kind funny because every artist paints the size of their car. Yeah, it's nice to go on ten bits in the boot of my car. I have a, you know, kind of slides right in. Um, but I would, I would go bigger. I'm kind of confined in, in I work at home in um, just a room in my house, and I'm confined to that as well. Because, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'd love to go bigger. You know. Um, mm -hmm. I've always thought there's loads of things I'd love to do. I'd love to go bigger. And then when I'm thinking about going bigger, I tend to go very small, you know? Um, yeah, you made these beautiful encaustic. A lot of people remember and they mention that because uh, years ago when you were in the RDS and selling these lovely um, encaustic kind of figures, they're 
they're and when I saw them, they're just absolutely stunning. Do you still do that, or is that yeah? That yeah, do you still do it? Okay. Yeah, they're four inch squares, and yeah. I've been doing quite a few of them during lockdown as well, because um, they're actually they're by my bread and butter in a way. Yeah, yeah. 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 And they're quite popular, and and I like doing them. It's kind of a little break away from from big yeah. work. You know, I kind of get really kind of concentrated on them. You know. Um, so what, what what is the favorite medium that you like to use out of all of them? Oh, oils, yeah. Really? Definitely, yeah, definitely oh. paintings. When I get back into painting, if I work on encaustics, you know, um, for a while, they even though I love them, they can start to drive me mad because I feel as if I'm in a factory. You know, I'm on this <laughs> kind of little row kind of, and uh, so it's kind of more of a freedom. Yeah. Bigger pieces because I mean they are only that size. They are yeah, tiny, yeah. tiny, tiny things. Um, um, and my eyesight isn't great. <laughs> you know, kind of like, oh. <laughs> oh, we just spoke about there about how the, you know the deadlines for art fairs and how hectic it was. When you were under that pressure, are you really strict with your your schedule? And do you do you go into the room and your studio like early, or how do you like? What's your favorite times to paint at? Um, I would paint. I go in early. Yeah. I mean, my, my um, work, commute to work is kind of across <laughs> the landing and up the stairs with a cup of coffee. And now with lockdown, everyone can relate to that. <laughs> and it's great. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I have it here at yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm an awful dilly dallier. So if I had a studio outside of a house, I would go you know, somewhere else where I had to travel to. I just wouldn't get there on time, you know. Really and producing the work. I mean, you've always actually followed mm -hmm. through and every and with us. So yeah, it seems like you're fairly disciplined. I am, yeah. Yeah. I would I I love painting, you know, and it um it's one of the things that I kind of think, you know, I'm I'm actually lucky um that I have something it takes it when I'm painting, mm -hmm. it just takes my mind elsewhere. Yeah. It's an escapism, isn't it? Yeah, really. Yeah. Is. and such a good distraction from from what's going on today as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's joyful, you know. Um, so, and I kind of, you know, so lockdown. I remember my son saying to me, "Nothing much changed for you," and I was thinking, "Well, it's really, you know, it's a sneaky bus." We can relate to the lifestyle now, more. <laughs> Well, Ethna, thank you so much. It's been really mm -hmm. nice chatting to you. Um, and thanks for your time. I um, really enjoyed it. And looking forward to seeing more work over the years as well. Hopefully see you in person the next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks. Oh, thank you. All right. Stay yeah. safe and well. Bye.